Hello and welcome to Code Saturn Mixing T tutorial. This video will give you a preview of how to set and to compute unsteady viscous turbulent CFD simulations. I will show you how to set the rounds case, then how to set the LES case. In order to optimize this video duration, I will focus on the CFD settings. Please Refer to the PDF tutorial if you need detail on how to create or to generate the mesh. As you can see on the screen, a T-junction mesh was generated. This tutorial is inspired by the Vattenfall laboratory experiment to predict main parameters affecting high cycle thermal fatigue in T-junction. The following configuration involves a cold water flow inlet on the left and a hot water flow inlet at the top. The upstream flow is steady while the downstream flow becomes unsteady. Let's now proceed to the runs computation settings. As usual and before moving forward to the settings of case number one, I highly advise you to check if you have well pasted the mesh file into the mesh folder you created for this case. In my case, I created mixing T folder under the CFD folder. Then I pasted the T junction runs, runs of mesh file into the mesh subfolder. So once this is done, you can move to the next step, which um, which is the um, case 1 settings. So let's start with the mesh tab. Make sure the, the, the mesh is well selected and the execution mode standard computation option selected too. Regarding volume zones, only one volume zone appear. Boundary zones, make sure you have well defined four different boundary zones with two inlets, one cold, one hot, an outlet and a wall. You can also find all these, all of this information in the PDF tutorial if you need further detail or um, extra uh, help. So the mesh tab is, is done, it's configured. So now you can move to calculation features. Calculation features, you need to select standard Eulerian single phasing compressible under the flow models uh, window. You can also select turbulence models um, as k epsilon inner production with a velocity scale of 1 meter per second. You can also activate energy equation under thermal model by selecting temperature Celsius. You can also add body forces following z axis. Um, by adding minus 9.81 meter per um, second squared and you don't need you do not need to add further species species transport here only temperature appears related to thermal model um, you have um, activated so the calculation figures tab is now done you can save your xml document before moving to volume conditions. Make sure initialization and physical properties are both ticked and you can now proceed to the initialization. Velocity are by default zeros under the for the three different directions. You can leave these values by default. You can um, under the thermal um, mathematical expression type 19 degrees Celsius and you will be done with the initialization tab. Regarding physical properties, you have four different user load defined here for the density, viscosity, specific heat and thermal conductivity. You will find all of these four loads uh, in the PDF tutorial but make sure you have selected user laws and type the well mathematical expression for each. As you can see, for each different mathematical expression, the physical properties related depends on temperature. So density here 
is depending on temperature evolution. Same thing, same, same thing for viscosity. Molecular viscosity is depending on temperature evolution too. Same thing for a specific heat. And also same thing for thermal conductivity here. So once this is done, you can also add a reference value here. You can select the same values in your uh, case too. And you will be done for co volume conditions tab. So you can save your case, move to boundary conditions and make sure before initiate all values for each boundary condition to select the, the w nature for each uh, boundary. So here the BC1 relay is, relay is um, cold inlet, the BC2 a hot inlet, the BC3 an outlet and the BC4 a wall. So the BC1, here are the, the values related to velocity, the values here is 0.585 um, mer per second. The turbulence value is 0.14 for the hydraulic diameter. And the thermal value here is 19 degrees. Regarding the second inlet, the velocity here is 0.764 mer per second, the hydraulic diameter 0.1 mer, and the thermal value here up to 36 degrees Celsius. You can leave the outlet values by default, same thing for the wall, and you will be done for boundary condition settings. So now move to time settings, make sure steady local time step is selected, is selected under the time step option, the simplex algorithm too, and make sure to type 3000s for the number of time steps. You can leave all of these values here by default. You can also make sure under the start restart tab and advanced option that full restart checkpoints are selected. You will be done with this time settings tab. You can now move to numerical parameters and specifically the equation parameters tab. Under the clipping make sure the minimal value is 19 degrees Celsius and the maximal value is 36 degrees Celsius. So now this is done you can always add monitoring points to make sure that your combination is running as you expected by of course monitoring some values then once this is done you can save your xml document then run the computation by clicking here selecting the number of processes you need depending on your hardware configuration. So in my case everything is done and I can run calculation. I will look at the video and come back once the calculation is done. The calculation is done now. I will show you some of the results with Paraview. So let me introduce you some of the results of case number one. So in order to see temperature evolution in this uh, case so make sure you are at the last iteration then select temperature Celsius and as you can see you have here um, some of the results based on the computation so uh, the hot inlet is at 36 degrees Celsius the cold inlet is at 19 degrees Celsius and in downstream you have a mixing um, where the results are pretty interesting and in the range of 25 up to 30 degrees Celsius. You can also plot if you want uh, the velocity in magnitude so um, you can select velocity magnitude and here you have the velocity evolution through the pipes. Another interesting uh, thing you can also 
uh, do with Paraview is to plot some uh, vertical, some lines and in order to do so I will um, create a line in the middle of the pipe just located here and check the evolution of velocity following x. So the result is this and if you want to do so you can plot over a line um, you can find it in the filter uh, tab in alphabetical and you can find it plot over line uh, option so once this is done you can select the variable you want to plot um, and do not forget to um, well set x axis parameters so you can a good exercise here is to find the same results as we have in the PDF tutorial in order to find uh, the results based on the experiment of um, uh, done in the laboratory and then you will be able to compare both results so next we're going to move to uh, the case 2 the LES uh, computation and I will show you how to set this computation first. The second case of this tutorial refers to an unsteady computation with a LEES terminal. So before moving forward, as usual, make sure uh, um, all files are well pasted into the folder you created. In this case, the same mesh file is used for case 2. And in case to make sure sources file C user LES info is also well pasted. You will find this file into the data package available with this tutorial. So once this is done, we can proceed to the settings of case number two. So I will show you only uh, the changes. Um, between case number one and case number two so you can move directly move to calculation features turbulence models and select smagorinsky under les model then you can once this is done you can change time settings select constant then modify a reference time step down to 0 0.000 15 seconds and add the number of time steps up to 20 thousands so once this is done so you can move to post processing then add some time averages you will find further details in the PDF tutorial so when this is done do not forget to select the variable you need by clicking here and you will have the variable appearing here in this field so once this is done you can save your XML document then proceed to run computation right here because the LES computation is time consuming I will cut the video and come back this when once this is done by opening Paraview um, software. You can bef because it's also time consuming. You can increase the number of processes here, number of, number of threads, if your configuration allows it. So this is done, and I can run calculation. So let's now proceed to the post processing phase. As soon as the results and the computation is done, you can open results and I will here compare earlier's results and the rounds results of case 1. So we'll plot temperature and see step by step, frame by frame, temperature evolution in this LES results. So as you can see, the hot flow and the cold flow are mixed in the downstream and you can also have a look at the turbulence structure appearing here thanks to the LES computation.
this computation lasts three physical three seconds of physical time you can of course as the pf tutorial advise you to compute further uh, physical time in order to compare uh, laboratory experiment data with this computation. So if we have a look at the RENS results previously shown in case 1, you can see homogeneous temperature between the range of 25 up to 30 degrees, but it's also this is also based on RENS, so that means it's very homogeneous and doesn't give you accurate the uh, results as LES uh, does here. Let's have a look, uh, a close look at the T junction to just make sure that um, structure are well, also well um, um, displayed and you can also plot velocity if you want to to have a better view of the um, velocity magnitude located here in the junction. You can also plot if you want to renal stress tensor components. We previously in Katsarin added these <coughs> variables uh, average u, average uu. Here are all the variables you can uh, that uh, are um, that gives you. Uh, indication of the evolution of renal stress tensor here so we can plot it select the good preset range and this gives you a good result you can of course compare these results to experimental results this is a very good exercise too this concludes this video tutorial i really hope you enjoyed watching this video I highly recommend you to keep tracking Cutserian updates by checking on our channel or social media pages to get the latest news. Thank you for watching.